Greetings fellow readers, this is Rambling Collector here. In today's video, we will be talking about the Wolverine Weapon X comic book by Barry Windsor Smith, produced in 1991 under Marvel Comics. So, I have read a few Wolverine comics in the past, and as a matter of fact, you will recall my old review of Old Man Logan. This one, however, was given to me by my friend Brevin to do a review on, and I did not know what to expect from it. But needless to say, by the end of it, I was, honest to God, horrified by what I had just read. From the main fact being that this covers Wolverine's past of how he gained the adamantium skeleton. And needless to say, it was not a pleasant procedure whatsoever. It honestly starts off with Wolverine, first of all, getting kidnapped, but then being experimented on, having his entire head shaved, and then being poked and prodded, injected with needles. First was just the adamantium procedure, where it was injected into his bones. Not his muscles, his bones, his very adamantium, his very skeleton was violated in such a manner. The fact that it goes into such graphic detail, you see all these needles and injector points, all of which are stabbing into Logan's head, his body, everywhere, all over him. Every square inch of him is being injected with this highly heated metal. And I know we get a glimpse of it in Wolverine Origins, the movie. By the way, I personally think that film was actually fantastic, but that's just me. But seeing it in the film, the film is tame compared to what it is shown in the comic books. Like, Wolverine is not only having the adamantium injected into him, he is undergoing some severe surgeries of such that it is rewiring his brain, his muscle tissues, everything being rewired to make him more of a living weapon and I will not lie to you guys throughout this entire comic book I was left absolutely gobsmacked and horrified at the sheer lever level my bad level of just the extension of experiments and torture invicted on Wolverine just not only just the psychological damage where he was rewired as a living weapon, but just the adamantium itself would also look painful. And throughout it all, Wolverine, however, is not the main character. The majority of this comic, he's actually unconscious throughout the procedures, which thank God for that. Though I feel like he would have been driven insane either way, whether unconscious or not, just by the sheer extent of damage done to him, both mentally and physically. But... It is primarily from the main professor in charge of the program, as well as his two assistants, one of which is in charge of the psychosis for Wolverine, such as rewiring his brain and all that, but the professor chooses to be paranoid, wanting to keep experimenting on Wolverine throughout this entire procedure, wanting to keep pushing the limits, make sure that he's fully under control. And again, guys, I was horrified throughout all this because we see Wolverine at one point in a mental projection wondering what is happening to him. Why is he in so much pain? And it isn't until the tail end of the comic where he finally is able to snap into consciousness again. The rest of the time he is a growling, snarling animal being pushed to his absolute limits, both mentally and physically, with the procedures that are done to him. And I actually felt sorry for Wolverine throughout all of this. Just. Imagine enduring something like that, but your mind has to mentally block it to make sure that you just don't go insane, but he is still haunted by it. He was already dealing with PTSD before, but now it's probably been upped a major degree. But regardless, I do think this comic, while horrifying, told a very good story, especially the moment Wolverine has the chance to escape. He is released of his restraints and allowed the chance to escape, but what does he do? No. He does not run. He goes on a full-blown rampage throughout the entire facility, taking out anyone who gets in his way in some of the bloodiest massacre you will ever see. Which will be shown here in a, in a bit, once I showcase the art style. 
which Barry Windsor Smith did a fantastic job showcasing the horror of this, as well as just Wolverine's mind in general at this point. He's a broken man by the end of this, wondering where he is, what's coming on, what's been done to him. But that's just the story of it. Let's show you the art style. And speaking of the art, look at this. I believe Barry Windsor Smith did a fantastic job with this artwork, showcasing the story of just the true horror of it. And as you can see, it is very much 90s with all the bright colors, sharp angles, and of course, the wild hair on Wolverine. Like, I'm not kidding when I say this, guys. You've got characters with crazy hair. None that I've seen with that absolute mane the Wolverine has. And the funny thing is, there's actually a bit of a comedic moment where they're injecting the adamantium into his bones. They actually talk about how they had shaved his head like not even 20 minutes ago, and it had already grown back, which I found kind of a bit of dark humor there. But it just really goes to showcase Wolverine's healing factor in that moment. But more than that, the artwork really shows just the horror that is going on here. Which is why I say this is more of a horror comic than I do a superhero comic, because keep in mind, Wolverine is not at all conscious for most of this. He's just being experimented on, being injected with multiple tubes and wires and machines, all of which are rewiring his brain, nervous system, his bones. Every single scrap of him was injected to horrible experimentation and torture, driving him to a borderline animalistic state of mind. And speaking of animalistic, as you will see here in the far right, once he gets the chance to break out, he does not choose to run. He goes on a full-blown massacre of all the troops within the facility. As you can see here, like he does not hesitate to go to town on these people. And quite frankly, I do not blame him. By the end of the comic, I wanted Wolverine to get some personal vengeance here, and he full-on does here. To my satisfaction, because let's face it, being pushed to that level, anyone is bound to snap into animalistic rage, and Wolverine exemplifies that completely. But with all this being said, you already know what I'm going to give this. Because granted, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Reading through some of this, I actually felt a bit physically sick. So that definitely brought down the comic by a couple of points. Great story, fantastic artwork, but overall, just the sickening sight of it lowered it down by at least a couple of points. Hence my final score for this comic. So all in all, great story, great artwork, but slightly made me sick, which is why I give Wolverine Weapon X by Barry Windsor Smith, a solid 8 out of 10. I will say it's a fantastic comic if you want to dive into Wolverine's origins a bit, but it is definitely not for the faint of heart if you are not a fan of torture. And I know a lot of you are probably thinking, wait a minute, you talk about some comics and stuff that are absolutely borderline gory and bloody. Yes. And that's a weird thing I know. I can handle blood and gore. But something like this, human experimentation, not up my alleyway. Yeah, even I have limits, guys, surprisingly enough. But overall, once again, I do recommend it. And frankly, thank you, Revan, for recommending this comic to me. I hope at some point I can answer any of your future challenges more quickly. And just thank you again for this opportunity. And if you did like this video, feel free to leave a like. Comment your thoughts down below of what you think of it. And if you want to hear more of this, feel free to subscribe for more. And if you're interested in some of the other comics that I've covered, feel free to click the comic playlist you'll see here. Or if you want to hear me talk about some regular books, I will also leave a link to that playlist here as well. And thank you all again for listening to this crazy man's ramblings. This is Rambling Collector, signing off for now. Have a great day, my fellow readers.